Before we try to understand phasor, let's recap countdown latch and cyclic barrier. So let's start with countdown latch. Here we have a code where we want the main method or the main thread to wait for three dependent services to initialize. Only after those three dependent services are initialized, we want this thread to proceed further. For that, we are creating a countdown latch. The countdown latch we are initializing with the count of three because there are three dependent services. And we are running these dependent services on an executor service so that they run on separate threads. The executor service itself is of type fixed thread pool and the count of threads is four. The dependent service itself is a simple runnable and in the run method it when it does the initialization for example if it's a database service the initialization could be connect to the database once the database is connected to then it will say latch dot countdown so that dependent service will say okay my initialization task is completed so i am doing a countdown on the latch that was given to me so that thread itself will not stop here it will continue with its other operations it's just saying that my initialization work that you were dependent on is completed when the other two dependent services also do their initializations and do the countdown latch only then the main method which was waiting which was saying await for this latch to be completed and do not proceed further until that happens once these three dependent services say countdown then the count of that latch becomes zero and the main thread can proceed ahead of this await condition so to recap we have a latch we have the count as three we start three services and we say latch dot await once the three dependent services say okay latch dot countdown our work is completed the latch will be broken and then the main thread can proceed further visually this can be represented like this so main thread has count three it'll start three dependent services those three services can at different point and points in time say countdown once the last thread says countdown that's when the latch count becomes zero and only then the main thread can proceed further let's move on to the cyclic barrier in cyclic barrier we have a different use case now let's say we are, have a game there are three players in the game and we want to repeatedly send a special message to all three players but we want to ensure that we send a special message to all three players at once to avoid any discrimination the way we do that is we set up a cyclic barrier we set the count of the threads or the tasks involved as three and then we pass that same barrier to the three tasks and those three tasks themselves are running an executor service again of fixed thread pool and the thread count is four and this task is running in an infinite loop and that is on purpose because we want this task to be running repeatedly here each of these three tasks running in three different threads will say barrier dot await they can say barrier dot await at different points in time but once all three threads have come to this point in its execution only then all three threads will continue doing their operation so here these three threads could take different times in arriving at this location of the barrier but all three threads will have to wait until all three of them arrive here and once all three of them arrive here they all three can continue sending the message that special message through all three players at once once they have sent it since this is in while true processing will continue back and all three threads will try to arrive at this barrier again at the same point in time to visualize this we have a main thread this time the main thread will just start the task and it has no other operations to perform and all three tasks are supposed to arrive at that barrier it's possible that the first task will say await very soon but since the other two threads have not arrived at that point the first thread will wait the second thread could arrive a little later but still the third thread has not arrived so it will again go into the wait state and the third thread as soon as it does an await operation that means that all three threads are ready to perform the task after the barrier so that barrier is now broken and all of three tasks can continue their operation which in this case is sending that message to three players in the game and since this is a cyclic barrier as the name suggests it's cyclic in nature you can use the same barrier to repeat this whole cycle again phaser is a class which can act as a countdown latch 
which can also act as a cyclic barrier and it has much more flexibility than both of them combined. So let's see how we can use a phaser as a countdown latch. So we have the same code that we had earlier, but instead of countdown latch, we are using a phaser here. Initializing the phaser, similar to countdown latch, we are saying new phaser, and there are three parties because there are three dependent services. All those three dependent services are given the phaser. Those dependent services, once their initialization is complete, instead of doing a countdown method which we were doing earlier they'll say phaser.arrive similar to the countdown latch they will not block here it will continue to do their other operations but they are just saying hey the initialization task that you were waiting for is completed from my side and in the main thread we have the phaser.await advance as the name suggests it's awaiting the advance of that phase and it is similar to the countdown await method so once all these three dependent services say, okay, I have arrived, that means that I have completed my initialization task, only then the main thread will continue further. Very, very similar to the countdown latch. Uh, the behavior is exactly the same. It's just that the methods are slightly different. Same thing as before, like the countdown latch, we initialize, here we say the parties instead of threads. It's a different terminology. But it's just, it means the same thing. Parties count as three, and all three services will, once their initialization is complete, they'll say arrive. And since these lines are solid, that means that they'll not block at anything. They're just saying that, okay, my initialization task is done. And as soon as, soon as the last thread says, okay, I have, my initialization is also done, the main thread, which was doing an await advance, can continue its rest of the operations. And this first time when this await advance completes this phaser has this concept of phase which we'll see much better when we see the cyclic barrier but in this case this is known as the phase one the first time the phaser hits an await advance now let's try to code cyclic barrier using a phaser the code for this is very similar to what we wrote for cyclic barrier we are initializing the phaser with the party count as three we're giving this phaser to these tasks that we are going to run repeatedly and we are submitting these tasks to an executor here since the main thread is not doing anything else it will just go to sleep and since the tasks have to run repeatedly they are run using the infinite while loop and here each task will say phaser dot arrive and await advance and this method is very similar to barrier dot await this is saying okay i have arrived at this point but i am waiting to advance further i am waiting for other threads the other tasks like me to arrive also at this point only then i'll go further this same as barrier dot await as soon as all three tasks arrive here we can perform the same operation so in this case maybe we are sending the same special message to all three players in the game at once to see it visually again the main thread which starts the task main thread itself doesn't do any of the operations and the tasks themselves will perform some operations they'll arrive up at a particular point and they'll say okay i have arrived at this point and i'm awaiting advance and i'm waiting for other threads to arrive at this point as well so here the thread one comes earlier the thread two comes a little later and the thread three comes last but as soon as the thread three also says okay i have also arrived and i'm awaiting advance that's when the barrier is broken so in this case we are using phaser so here we say the phase has changed so initially the phase was one it was the first phase now we'll start the phase two all three tasks can perform their next operation which in this case is to send that special message to the players and since here the phaser is working like a cyclic barrier it will repeat the whole cycle again in the second cycle the phase number will change from phase one to phase two. This is how you can use the phaser as a cyclic barrier. There are also some special extra additions to the phaser. Phaser allows you to register in multiple ways. So here we are saying new phaser and we are giving it the number of parties involved, the party count as one. The main thread is starting two services and giving the phaser. The two services themselves can do the registration dynamically it need not be at the start in as part of the constructor 
any thread at any time which has this phaser can register themselves to the phaser and then perform the operations like arrive, arrive and await advance and so on and so forth. And the main thread here can say arrive and await advance similar to a barrier it's saying okay I have arrived at this point and I'm waiting for others to arrive as well. Also at any point in time you want to increase the number of threads registered the number of parties registered you can also call this method called bulk register. In addition to the three parties so the one is the main thread which registers itself the next two are the services which register themselves so the count has become three and here we are adding four more parties so the final count will become seven so now this phaser has seven parties registered and similar to how we have this register operation we also have a deregister operation so let's say we have a task and based on some condition it doesn't want to participate anymore in that phaser for that we have this method called arrive at this point and then we deregister so it will not participate anymore in the next cycles of this phaser so these dynamic registration and deregistration is not part of either the countdown latch or the cyclic barrier to visualize this we have this main thread which registers itself by saying new phaser into bracket one the party count it can also do bulk register of extra two parties of course like before it can say arrive and deregister it's deregistering itself a party can arrive at any point in time if it has the phaser instance it can say register myself and and then it can perform any other operations like arrive and await and once the, all the parties have come at this point using arrive and await or arrive and deregister the phase changes and this whole cycle can repeat so to recap the methods available for the phaser to register we can do it using the constructor register method and bulk register and the other methods to which we use to behave like cyclic barrier and countdown latch is arrive which is similar to countdown in the countdown latch we have arrive and await advance which is similar to await in uh, cyclic barrier and we have arrive and deregister using which we can dynamically deregister parties at any time there are some more methods that we have not discussed but at any point in time a party can also say get phase which gives the current count of the cycle so if you are using it as a cyclic barrier it will give you the count of the cycle which is repeating which is also known as the phase you can also say get me the count of the arrived parties get me the count of parties which have not arrived yet and you can also override a method called on advance on advance is a method which is run as soon as the phase changes so if all the threads who are waiting for that phase change to happen as soon as the phase change happens you can have a method which is run and which is very similar to using barrier action if using cyclic barrier there are two more methods force terminate which can be used to terminate the phaser completely and there is is terminate the method where the threads can check if the phaser has terminated and perform some operations that's it phaser is a simple class it acts like countdown latch, it can also act like a cyclic barrier and it has much more flexibility in terms of deregistering and registering dynamically by any parties at any time. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.